Hello my beautiful Nicolettes, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. Recently I've been doing a ton of skincare related videos, I've done videos all on pimples, acne scars, back knee, blackhead, I'll link them all down below, but today's video is going to be all around skincare and teenagers. I know when I was a teenager and in high school I kind of wish I knew about certain things that I do now. It's really important to start your skincare routine young, you know that during the teenage years you're going through a lot of different skin issues. A lot of the time when you become a teenager, that's when the lovely world of pimples and acne come about. But there's also things that I really want to recommend that you shouldn't do that is really going to be beneficial for you in the future as well. By the way, just wanted to throw out there that this is not a sponsored video. So any product that I do mention, they are literally my ride or die products. I live and swear by them. I'll link any products I do talk about in my description box so it's easier for you guys to go and check it out because I definitely recommend and these products. Like I said, they are my ride or dies. Question of the day is leave a comment down below. Tell me what your skin type is. Do you have normal, dry, oily skin? But enough talking, let's jump into the video. Step one, use a gentle cleanser. For this, I love using the Aveeno Ultra Calming Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It has so many benefits, one being that it is fragrance free. It's non-comedogenic, which you wanna really look for this word on packages because this means that it won't clog your pores. It is dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic. So there's a lot of benefits when it comes to this cleanser. I also love this cleanser because it's very hydrating. It doesn't dry out my skin after I use it. You really just want to go for more mild cleansers when you are a teenager, a especially because it is just gentle on your skin. I like to go for more gel consistencies or even foam cleansers. You wanna just try to avoid those harsh scrubs because it's going to only harm your skin and as well, it's going to worsen any acne problems if you have any. So of course, I just applied it all over my skin. Make sure you're not avoiding your hairline and your jawline. Make sure you're really applying the cleanser all over your face. And once I was done rubbing it into my skin, I just rinsed it off with some water and then when you are drying your skin a tip I have for you is to try and pat your skin as opposed to rubbing it because it's just gonna be more gentle on the skin when you pat your skin dry step two facial sprays. The one I've been loving and using is Mario Badiscu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. There's so many benefits to this facial spray. It revives dehydrated skin. It's going to help soothe the skin because of all the ingredients in it. And it's also going to give your skin a healthy glow. So you can use this as a pick-me-up. You can use it after your cleanser. You can even use it on top of your makeup to really just make it not look as cakey. Like you saw, all you have to do is spritz it all over your face and then just just let it dry. Step three, oils. Before I jump into it, I just wanted to talk quickly about the brand The Ordinary. Just because I recently found them within the year, this is a really great skincare brand, but it's super affordable. And especially when I was a teenager, I didn't have much money to spend. I definitely recommend checking out this skincare line because it is great, but they give you amazing prices for this skincare. So I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite products I like to use on the daily, and that is The Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. The formula is oil-free, alcohol-free and silicone-free. Niacinamide is also known as vitamin B3, and this is known to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion while balancing your natural sebum levels so that you have a shine-free complexion. The zinc in it is an anti-inflammatory that is used to treat burns and scars and fight against free radicals. It just helps to improve your skin texture and smoothness while calming those breakouts and reducing excess oil. This oil helps to also minimize pores but what you're gonna do is apply a few droplets to the skin and you're gonna apply this every morning and evening before you apply any heavier creams step four moisturize and apply SPF on the daily I like to use the Aveeno ultra calming daily moisturizer with SPF 30 in it this is a really great daily moisturizer to use because it is great for sensitive skin and it reduces the redness and soothes your irritated skin at the same time and like I said it does have SPF in it, so it's going to protect your skin from harmful UVA rays. It is oil free, non comedogenic, and hyperallergenic. Like I said, it's important to also use SPF on the daily and get into the habit because you 
really going to protect your skin from any sun damage. Even when the sun's not out, it can still damage your skin. So you wanna make sure you're applying some sort of SPF. And I love finding moisturizers that just have SPF in it. And this is a great option. That concludes my skincare routine for the morning. And of course the next step may be makeup for some of us, especially when you're a teenager. I know this is the time a lot of us dabble into the makeup world. My tip when it comes to makeup is minimal is key. But if you do wanna wear something like foundation, try to go for more healthier options and options that have better ingredients in them because so many beauty products are actually really harmful for your skin and can be damaging in the future. So I'm gonna share with you my favorite foundation that is a lot healthier for your skin compared to a lot of other foundations on the market. And that is the Healthy Foundation from Physician Formula. I'm absolutely obsessed with this foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations. It's fragrance free, it's non-comedogenic, which once again means it's not gonna clog your pores. It's dermatologist approved, hypoallergenic, paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. I love especially how this foundation is paraben free because parabens is a harmful chemical found in a lot of beauty products. It mimics the activity of the hormone estrogen in the body and the estrogenic activity is associated with certain forms of breast cancer. So I personally love this one. I not only like it because it has so many amazing ingredients, but I do love the formula. It goes on really nice. It makes your skin look like skin and not super cakey. It is buildable coverage and I love the application as well. So I just applied it all over my face and blended it in with my, my Real Techniques sponge. And I just love this coverage, this foundation. It is one of my new favorites foundations that I found today. Now it is time for our night skincare routine and my night skincare routine is a little bit more intense than my morning skincare routine because I really wanna make sure I get everything off my face. Step one is to remove my makeup and I do this by using two products every single night. I begin by using my Kirkland Makeup Remover Wipes. They are paraben free and hypoallergenic so they're great for the skin and they're amazing for all skin types. I just find this works really well and it is affordable. And I also love to use the Garnier micellar water when it comes to eye makeup. It's non-comedogenic, no alcohol, oil, and fragrances, and it's really gonna just remove your makeup and be a little bit more gentle on the eyes since that is a very sensitive area. Step two, cleanse. For my nighttime cleanser, I love using the Glam Glow Clearing Cleanser. I've been using this for a while now, and it is amazing. It is paraben-free, sulfate-free, it detoxes your skin, it diminishes the appearance of pores, texture, and tone, and this is what's gonna also help you with acne and blemishes if you struggle with that. I like to have a more intense cleanser for the nighttime. I just like to make sure that I'm really getting the dirt and oil off my skin. And of course, I just rub it into my skin and just rinse it off with warm water. I even like to bring it down my neck to make sure that I am just getting everything off. And this is just gonna remove any leftover makeup that you may have not gotten rid of with your makeup remover. This next step I only do once a week and that is to exfoliate. For this process, I love using the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. It is really important, however, that you do do this only once a week and you don't over exfoliate because that can be damaging for the skin. This is a great exfoliator because it's sulfate, SLS, and SLES free, paraben free, dermatologist tested, great for all skin types. It's gonna remove the dead skin and it's also gonna help to alleviate any redness or inflammation on the skin. I've also been really enjoying the skincare brand Bosha. I find it works really well with my skin. It's one of my favorite skincare brands at the moment. To finish it off, the last step, I love using sheet mask once a week, in particular charcoal sheet mask. It's going to draw out impurities, help remove dead skin cells, and it's also going to give your skin a more smoother and radiant appearance. And charcoal sheet masks are really great for helping blemishes. I really enjoy sheet masks because I find they're a lot more gentle on the skin and they're also gonna leave your skin feeling a lot more hydrated and they don't really dry out your skin. They're also really soothing and cooling on the skin so when you do have acne or blemishes it's really great for that but I just applied on my sheet mask and let it sit for 20 minutes I know it looks a little funny but it does wonders to the skin and once 20 minutes was up I just removed the sheet mask when you remove sheet mask you don't actually wash your face off you're just going to rub the excess left on your skin to really make sure it soaks into your skin you just get all the benefits for your skin I've tried many sheet masks but I just find that if you have very sensitive skin or if you break out charcoal is the way to go 
That is all for the video. I hope you guys took something from it and it was useful for you. And if you did like it, thumbs up. It always helps me out and supports me. And also it means so much if you became a part of this fam jam by clicking the subscribe button down below. It's free and I do upload every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And if you want to make sure you get my upload notifications, then just head over to my channel, click that little bell, and you will be notified every single time I upload a video like this. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!